What's up guys, it's Joe the Pro here, back at it again with another video, and we are at the bowling alley, and I will be showing you how to clean a pin setter, specifically an 8230 pin setter by AMF. Um, please drop a like on this video, subscribe, hit the post notification bell, and I'm going to show you how to clean this. So the first thing I want to do is show you what you'll need. You're going to need some kind of um, heavy duty degreaser. Um, I like to have WD-40 on hand to get at like tough grease near the motors. And at the end, after we cleaned, we're going to have to lube everything. So I just use, uh, three in one oil cause we clean these so often and you'll need a bunch of rags, obviously. So what I'm going to do first, we're going to get all the pins out of the machine. I'll just put them in this box. So let's turn it on. So first I'll run the sweep. We don't have a sweep switch. So we have the clutches on these pinwheels. Here it is right here. It stops the pinwheel when it doesn't, when the there's no pins that need to be fed, fed in the deck. So now I'll spot some. Okay, run the soup again. Okay, so I'll turn it off and turn all the power off. Honestly, I would even un go as far as unplugging it because we definitely don't want this thing turning back on when we're in the pin setter. Basic safety. So let's get all the pins out of here and I'll get back to you. Okay, so now that we got all the pins out, yes, I did fit all 20 pins in one box. Well, technically 18, but anyways, I like to start in the back. So get a rig, put some cleaner on it. And be careful not to overspray onto like any of the electrical stuff because the last thing you want to do is short out anything important by just being over dramatic with the cleaner okay now in here this is where all the grease builds up from the pinwheel running so this one's honestly not that bad because I just cleaned these not too long ago we try to do them once a month at least, especially because these are 8230s, known as dirty 30s. Okay, so now we'll, we'll do the plows. Yeah, see, you can, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there's all this grease right here. It's just gonna get your pins all dirty. And comment down below if there's anything specific that you guys want to see. Oops. Make sure you get the transition plate. Okay. Give the, this. Okay, now I can get up here and what I do when I, so I'm going to clean the pinwheel now, and what I do, I just rotate the wheel and just spray. So okay, now that we got it all sprayed, just take a Take a clean side of the rag and go over everything. This helps to keep the pins clean. And you gotta keep in mind that the pins are your main transportation of the dirt across the machine. Okay. 
By the way, I'm filming this with my GoPro. Definitely works very nice for the videos. The heck was that? <laughs> Some weird stuff happens around here. It's these old machines. Okay. All right, guys. Now it's time to clean the distributor. Sometimes you get some dirt and stuff caught up in here, so give that a nice spray. This one's actually a little rusty, that's kind of weird. Oh well. Out of the way. Okay. So, oh, I meant to say this in the beginning of the video, but make sure you guys subscribe to this channel called Garage Bowling Alley. They, they have. Uh, it's, this guy has a Brunswick A2 in his garage that he got from a local church that closed. I think they had like four lanes, but anyways, he got um, he got like one of those old gold crown masking units. Got a bunch of pins, so go check that out. I'll link it down in the description below. But there he. I thought of him because they went and just visited a bowling alley that had the 8230s with the magic triangles and all that good stuff. Alright, get the flipper. And while you're cleaning this stuff, you want to inspect, make sure the everything's working correctly. That'll prevent problems in the future. Okay. So now, um, make sure you get the this, all this stuff over here. It's hard to remember all the the spots to get. You can even get this thing. Get the little stopper right there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, now that we have everything in the back cleaned up, I'm going to lower down the table and clean all the cups. So, plug the machine back in. Okay. I'll turn all the switches on. And now the mechanic switch. Actually, let's get out first. Okay. So to lower the table, I'll just reset it. Turn it off right there. Perfect. Okay. All right, so now, now we can clean all the cups. We'll get a new rig for that. Yeah, this one's gonna be a little dirty. I just did this lane over here. I gotta clean this ball lift belt too. Basically wanna clean everything on these as much as possible. Because they get pretty dirty pretty quick. That's why they're called dirty 30s. Okay. So what I do with the cups, actually, I just give them all a nice quick spray so I don't have to keep stopping.
because it doesn't really matter because we're gonna re-lubricate everything. Okay. So we'll get the I see usually start the head pin. Make sure you get this. And just do this to all the cups. Okay, so now that I've got all the cups cleaned, I, I got a little grease on my fingers. Um, I'll just go around and kind of clean like my surroundings and stuff. The, like I said earlier, the cleaner the better. And um, yeah, so you now for example, do this. The rods, the lower table rods. Just gotta remember to. Oops, we just gotta remember to grease all these when we get done. Do the ones over here. And yes, we do have the vertical ball lifts still. But we're doing the best we can with them. Because in order to get PBLs in here, those are the ball lifts that go on the 8270s, we have to remove the frame on this side and put the 70s frames in. And that's pretty much taking this whole machine apart. So that's not as fun of a job as many people think. Okay, so while we're in here, I am going to just give the sweep rods here a nice cleaning. Get all the dust off of them. Okay. And, um... While the table and everything is down, we'll get out and get the grease. And we'll, well, not the grease, the oil. I only use oil on these machines. Get our oil. And all you gotta do, as long as you do it on a normal basis, just give it a little wipe beforehand. Give it a nice dab. I will note, you want to keep an eye on the left side table rod, because it's only one rod, that side has two, and sometimes if you don't keep up with greasing this, it'll wear out, and then your table will be on the pin deck, and that is not good. Oh, we forgot to clean this. There we go. Many people are commenting saying you like the wood lanes. They are in very decent shape. The pin decks are pretty beat up though, but I mean, it's a pin deck. It's gonna happen. And uh, yeah, so I'll just give it a little oil. Try not to drip it all over the place. I did hear something squealing over here. Gotta get this bottom one somehow. We're gonna go under there and clean the flat gutters in just a second. So it doesn't matter if you drip it right there. But you still do wanna kinda try to keep it clean. Get this one right here. Okay, get this one. Now I've, these ones are always, always getting worn out because everybody forgets to grease them. So you do want to put a little extra on there. Oh, crap, now it's pissing all over the place. Oh well. Um, this one's even harder to get to. You gotta kind of get down on your knee here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's this fitting right here. You gotta kind of... Uh, Kind of just got to drip it on there. You really can't get a grease gun in there either. There we go. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to show you guys this. I don't think you can see, but I'm just giving it a little squirt. You can get in there on the in between the sweep motor and the frame. There we go. We got it. Um, you can get this sweep rod right here. if I got that one but now it's got some nice oil on it I got that oh we gotta get this one right here there we go 
go. These tables get really dusty. Gotta get the lower ones. We forgot all the lower ones. So, basically, you just wanna clean, inspect, and grease. Okay, so that's it for the greasing for under here. Okay, so you can get on out, go up to the front. Okay, spray these boxes. Clean them off real nice. It's a lot nicer when you can work on clean machines. So you're not getting yourself all dirty like I am right now. Yeah, that's pretty dusty. And like I said, I try to do a pair, pair of lanes a week. We have 12 lanes and it's just easy to do it like that. like to clean everything yeah this this table motors leaking pretty bad I can see somebody put a leak pad right there so um now we'll raise the table up again and then we'll get down on the pin deck to clean everything else, like the ball door and everything. So you can plug the machine in right here. Turn all your switches on, main power. Now it's a good time to get a new rag. Bring the WD-40 with us for this. I'm gonna bring the grease and stuff too. Okay, so now we just gotta get down in the front. Okay. Now is a good time to lubricate your sweep rods right here. And if you guys like these um, maintenance videos, just comment down below and I will do more of them. Okay, so what I do now is um I already did the ball track and stuff when I did the other lane but if you don't do that make sure you get the track and I'll give these flat gutters a nice spray clean them up it keeps your pins clean because you know the lane machine doesn't clean here This one. And um, Rob, if you're Rob from Garage Bowling Alley, if you're watching this, I do have the same flat gutters as you on most of my lanes. I noticed that in one of your videos. And while I'm under here, I like inspecting the kickbacks because if you have any nails poking out, that's one. Not, it's one more thing that's nicking your pins. So I just run my hand over, if I don't feel anything, then we're good. Okay. So, now I'll get under here, clean the ball door. That does get pretty dirty, surprisingly. Yeah. 
Okay. See? It's pretty nasty. I also do give the curtain a little care. And this is more common on the A2s, but if you have any like oil streaks running down that can screw up your scoring. Okay. So now that we got everything under here, um, there's not really anything to lubricate under here. We got it all up top. So, how you can, this is just something extra I do. It doesn't really matter, but I, I dust the light off. This is the pin deck light right here. Dust that off real quick. Okay. That's pretty much it. Besides cleaning the pens. Oh yeah, you like cleaning. So this is what I use the WD-40 for. I'll clean the motor. The motor case right here. As you can see, it hasn't been cleaned in a while because I forget. They're probably all laughing at me right now up front. Thinking I'm talking to myself back here. <laughs> Okay, make sure you plug it back in, so then you'll have a table. Give all these quick dusting real quick. Doesn't matter what I get on the pin deck, because I'm going to run the lane machine in a few minutes when I get done with the video. So, <laughs> this plug right here, this is the, uh, this is from when we had the magic triangles on our masking units. This is the pindication, and you can see on the respot cells, a few of them are cut, like this one right here. That's where it plugged into the table right there, and that's how it, your score got registered. So that was kind of cool. I'll just leave that there for now, and get back up top. Okay. And that should be all the lubricating we have to do. If we hear anything squeaking, we can go back and get it. But yeah. Okay, so now what I'll do is, since we got everything cleaned off, we'll plug the machine back in right here. Turn everything on. So it's already on second ball right now. So we'll reset it. And in the meantime, we're gonna clean the conveyor belt right here because that's usually filled with dirt. So now you can see the pinwheel started turning because it's it wants pins now. But first, I usually just take the cleaner and squirt it right on the pit. Find yourself a clean rag. And just sit here and wipe it all off until it's dry. It takes a few minutes usually. I'll come back to you when I'm done. All right guys, so now that we got the pit all cleaned out, we'll start cleaning the pins off again. Cause what good is a clean machine without clean pins? So what I'll do, I'll actually just spray them all while they're in the box. Get them nice and wet so they wipe off nice and easy. Look at that. So I'll do this to all 20 pins. And then I'll show you guys a few cycles once I'm done cleaning. Okay, that's the last one right there. Let's get all this stuff out of our way. All right. Now, it's on first ball right now, so we gotta cycle it a few times. Look at that. Nothing like a nice, quiet 
8230 and clean. Alright, so now the pinwheel will start moving. As you can see, we'll run it a few times just so you can see. Anything looks good to me. So now for the second cycle, I'm going to make sure that when the table is fully downward that the distributor still moves around all freely because sometimes if it's out of adjustment, it'll stall right up near the front. So we'll turn off the sweep and table switches and we'll watch it from here. And it's cruising. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. That is how you clean an 8230 pin setter. And if you have any more videos for ideas or ideas for videos, just comment them down below. And I'd be happy to try to make them for you. So please like, subscribe, and peace, and do it like a pro. We will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.